All right, guys, so it is Wednesday. Here is my lunch. It is two, three, four, five, six, seven of the Trader Joe's Winnie Cilantro wontons for two points. And the Asian um, salad mix, which is less, I have like a cup in there. And just the, what those little bit of things you see on the top there is all I got. So I'm gonna probably count that as about two points. And I've had two macaroons today, which I didn't tell you, but oh my gosh, they're delicious. Hi everybody, it is August 22nd, Wednesday. And I just got back from Trader Joe's. And first and foremost, I wanted to let you know that I finally tried the macaroons, um, which were amazing. I had two of them for four points. I had the purple one, which I think is passion fruit, although I don't think my box said passion fruit. And then I had the apricot ones, which was like the orange. And I gotta tell you, both of them were delicious. And there is a good, good, good possibility that I will not be able to keep them in the house because, um, yeah, there would just, they would just be too dangerous. So, um, but yeah, I had those. I had an Asian salad just a little while ago, which I'll show you. And, um, with some mini chicken cilantro wontons. So I think I had two, three, four, I think I had like four points, five, six points total today. I don't know, whatever. And, um, I have no idea what I'm having for dinner today. I'm considering a flatbread pizza. Um, which I got some of the flatbreads from Trader Joe's, so I'm thinking about having one of those um, with uh, maybe some grilled chicken on it and some um, just, you know, pizza sauce and cheese, all from Trader Joe's. Um, I went to Trader Joe's today as a um, uh, kind of a treat myself because I'm going back to work tomorrow. Um, this is my least favorite day of the whole year, not because I don't love my job or I don't like what I do because I do. Um, but it's the day where you think, oh, all those summer plans I had and I just didn't do. Um, you know, I did a lot of them this year. I didn't lay by the pool or get in the pool near as much as I wanted to. I still have a couple weeks of summer left. So, um, you know, where I'll be getting home and I may still get in the pool, but most likely not. Um, we did do a lot of traveling, which I'm happy about. And, um, but I didn't go to the do eye doctor like I was supposed to. So I'm going to have to take a day off work and go do that because I really need to go. Um, I definitely wear readers but I really should be wearing, um, I think, full-time glasses. Um, but I haven't had my eyes checked in a really long time. Oh my gosh, I just looked at our American flag and it has got the biggest, I'm hoping it's a butterfly because if not, it may be the biggest moth I've ever seen. It's actually so big that it is covering, I think, one of the stars on our flag. Like, I'd like to go show it to you, but I'm also terrified that this thing is gonna move if I go over there and it's blowing in the wind right now. When I'm done here, if I um, get a chance, I'll maybe take a picture of it. I don't know, I don't wanna get that close. Um, anyway, so I wanted to jump on here for a second to kind of talk about my difference between yesterday and today. So Monday, I was supposed to hit the reset button, like I've been saying for two weeks now. Um, but you guys know that I went to South Carolina with an impromptu trip with my girls, um, two of them. So I ended up not um, hitting the reset switch that week and um, decided that I was going to do it Monday. Well, on Monday, um, Norm said, let's go out to lunch, and we went to a buffet. And unfortunately, in the past, at a buffet, I'd have been really good. You know, I'd have said, you know, just have salad, have some chicken, maybe a little taste of some other stuff. The problem is, because I hadn't gotten back in the, in the swing of things on Weight Watchers, um, I didn't care. I just ate whatever I wanted. So I, I had another day of where I just, there's just no way to track that. I mean, I, I had, I, there's just no way. Even if I tracked it and took all of my points away and half of my weeklies or even all of my weeklies, I still could have been under, I don't know. So unfortunately that day I didn't track. So officially um, I was back on plan yesterday. So I guess because yesterday was the first day that I was eating all of my meals at home um, and I was definitely paying more attention to what I was eating, I feel like my whole day was consumed with thinking about food. So I woke up thinking, I'm hungry, I have to eat something. And then um, a couple hours later, I'm hungry again, I have to eat something. And I even had a really early dinner and I convinced myself it's because I had an appointment last night. Um, so I had to eat early, which I guess was kind of true. It's starting to rain, which I guess was kind of true. 
but I probably could have eaten a little bit later than I did or even after my appointment. But um, either way, I found myself just obsessed with food yesterday. So today, when I got up, I really wasn't hungry. So my stomach was growling a little bit. I had some coffee and some water and I was, and then it kind of went away. Like I didn't really want anything. And then, um, we went to Trader Joe's and at Trader Joe's, I really wasn't hungry. Like it wasn't like I was walking up and down the aisles going, I'm getting this and this and this cause I was hungry. Um, I just got a couple of the things I wanted to get. Every time I go in there, I got at least three bags of those chicken cilantro wontons. I'm, I should just have a freezer full of them cause I could literally eat them every day. Um, so I went through and got a couple of things I wanted to try. I got some things that um, just looked good and some things that I needed that I couldn't find at my own store, like the Canadian bacon. Can you guys see the rain? Um, my store doesn't, my, my Wheat doesn't carry Canadian bacon. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Um, so I got some things that I wanted to try, but today I'm not as obsessive over food. And I don't know if it's because yesterday was just like the first day back and it made me um, a little weird about it, or if today I'm just not as hungry. I don't know, but I just wanted to talk about getting through, it's almost like an addiction, you know, it's getting through those first couple of hours, those first couple of days. And while today's going really well, and I'm feeling really, really on plan, um, I still, you know, I'm, I'm still obsessive about food right now. I'm still thinking about food. I'm still wondering what I'm going to eat, and it doesn't have enough points. And I'll be okay, I'll get back into the swing of things, but the first couple of days really sometimes can be um, difficult. So go back to school tomorrow and um, I will be showing you what I eat for lunch and what I eat for breakfast. And I'm actually going to get ready to right now go in the house and make breakfast for tomorrow so I have it ready to go. Um, and it is starting to rain and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Guys, can you see that bug? Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a moth or a butterfly or what it is, but it's literally, I guess it's not covering up a star, but it is almost as big as one of those stars. And it is freaking me out a little bit. So, let me see if I can get a little closer. It's kind of weird, considering, like I said, it's a regular size, you know, American flag. I'm trying to back up here. Right? Crazy. It's the Trader Joe's uh, Lavash flash flatbed with the Trader Joe's fat-free pizza sauce and some Italian seasoning, some onion, some mushroom, and some chicken. The flatbread is two points. The cheese, Trader Joe's cheese, is three points. And the um, sauce is one point. So it's two, four, Five, six, seven, eight. It's about eight points for both pieces of flatbread. That one's mine. This is everything I used. Trader Joe's pizza sauce, the mushrooms, the onions, the light shredded mozzarella, and the little bash flatbread.